Hi ladies, it's Amy, and I was going to write you out the instructions on how to do this Starburst card, and I was having such a hard time figuring out how to explain it so you could actually understand it, so I thought what might be best is if I just um, do a video, and I'll either upload it to YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, or um, I'm hoping that I can just um, email you this video through your email, so we'll see how it works out. If I don't let it get too long, then hopefully it'll mail just send right through the email, so... What you want to do is you want to start off by, and I know the, I think the main problem we were having before is which corner, when you go to cut it, it's hard to figure out where to cut to. So you might want to put a little arrow up in, in the corner that you're going to use, and um, then you want to mark two on the bottom and one on the side. And like I said in class, it doesn't matter exactly where you put these, it's just if you put it over farther, you're going to have a thinner piece. If you move it over farther, you'll have a thicker piece and it changes. But any way you do it, it's going to look fine. So what we want to do is take our first piece. And remember, this first piece, you actually just um, make the mark right on the line. You don't need to give it any extra room. And then you may want to even start just putting a little mark up in the um, right-hand corner. And that might help you for the first few times when you're doing this to get it to work right for you. So then what you're going to do is you're going to put the mark on the bottom and then this right hand corner and you're going to get it so it's all level and then you're going to go through and cut it. And that is your first piece. And I'm going to put it here. I'm not sure how much space I have, to sh how much room I have. And this is um, just not just throw away but just that's not, you don't need them anymore for this one. And so now the next one This is going to be your middle piece. And so this one we wanted to give a little room. And so you want to go to the outside of the first line and to the outside of the last, the second line. So we'll just make a mark here and here. And then again, you can make a little mark here. And if you use pencil and you do it, um, you know, just lightly so it's, it's not hard to erase, you won't have any problems. So now on the second sheet of paper, you're going to be cutting two times. Uh, the first time is going to be from your first mark to the corner. And then this is throwaway. And your next one is from your second line up into that corner. Whoops. And there's your second piece. So essentially you're just um, cutting the middle. And you, the end two pieces are um, throw away or you can use for another project. Now here's your third piece and what we're going to do here is we're first going to measure it on the bottom. We're going to go just to the outside of the line a little bit. It just gives you a little room in case you make a mistake somewhere else. And then we're also going to measure it to the sideline and you want to just move up a tiny bit from the sideline. I hope you can see this. Sorry. So we're going to do it from here on the side, just a little bit above, and then just a little bit to the side on the bottom. And so you're going to be making two cuts here as well. So your first cut is going to be to this bottom line to your corner. And remember to mark the corner if, if you're having a hard time figuring out where you're cutting from. So this piece is trash. And now you're going to do from this line to the corner. And then the, um, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about, because I know it is kind of confusing when you're trying to figure it out. So these two pieces are not used. It's the middle piece that you're cutting out on these two. And so there you go. Hope you can see that. And now we're going to do the last piece. And the last piece, just like the first, you don't really have to give this any extra room. You just mark it right on the line. So we're going to go from the line right up to the right-hand corner. And this piece is a throwaway. And I used the same two pieces of paper here just because I didn't have a whole lot of paper to play around with today. 
And as you can see, that is your finished card. And you can glue this right onto your cardstock, or you can actually glue it onto here. I did that on one of them, and then I cut it down and I popped it off of the card. So there's lots of different ways and um, different ideas that you can do with that. And I hope this video kind of helps um, uh, break up some of the confusion we had on it. I know it's kind of hard to learn. I had a super hard time when I was first trying to um, learn how to do it. But once you do it, you're going to find that it's a breeze. You're not going to have any problem with it. Um, I want to let you ladies know that I do have a card class um, scheduled for December 4th. That's a Friday at 5.30. Um, I'm hoping that date works for you. I know it's a little bit later in the season than I wanted it to be, um, but there's other classes that had already scheduled their their time, so that's the class we ended up with. Please let me know if that date does not suit you if you're wanting to take the class, and I will try to either schedule a second class or find a date that we're all um, able to come. And so I also wanted to give you kind of a sneak peek of the Christmas card class. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. I know some of you said you'd be interested in that, in that, so I thought that might be a fun thing to do in the Christmas card class. That's the one I was just speaking about, sorry, will be on December 4th at 5.30. Um, I bought some things um, at Hobby Lobby, of course, and I wanted to kind of share them with you and give you some, just a little sneak peek of what we're going to be doing. I bought this stamp set. It's actually from the um, uh, seasonal department over in Christmas. And I'm not sure if you guys realize that there's actually scrapbooking things over there. Lots of craft ideas over there, actually. And I got this set. I think it was $1.99. It's 40% off this week. So, you know, I got it pretty cheap. It's got four stamps. And as you can see, it's not um, just a great quality stamp set. But it's kind of like something I think you'd find in the dollar store, actually. But the stamps, it stamps very well. And um, it comes with the four stamps and then the little stamp pad. So I think we're going to be using these stamps in our craft. And then I also have, um, let me find it here, I bought these, these are actually gift cards. Let me open these up so you can see them. We're going to be using these, and I actually have an example for this one. Um, but this actually came up a lot more than it says it did, so I'm not sure how that's working out, but we'll see. Anyway, it comes with two different ones. This one, Merry Christmas. The back side is the um, to and from. And then there's also one that has little candy canes. So I thought those were both really cute. And I made this using the snowflake stamp and then one of these Merry Christmas ones. And I made this little tag and I thought we could do some cards but we could also make some fun little tags that you can put on your gifts this Christmas. And um, I basically just stamped, you can see that that stamp, even though it's just like a foam, you know, just a kind of a cheapy stamp, it makes a really good image. So um, we'll have fun playing with those stamps and we'll make a few different cards. I thought that might be fun to add into the class. Uh, let's see, some other things I got. This is actually another um, Christmas tag. So I thought it was so cute. It's Little Snowman and Santa Claus. Let me open this one up for you, too. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's the Little Snowman. And I think, um, instead of just using it on a tag, I think we can actually use this on one of our cards. I just think they're so, so cute. And then, whoops. Here's the um, snowman and the Santa. And I hope that the camera is picking these up pretty well. There's a little bit of glitter like on their nose. They're really cute. They're a lot of fun. And um, then I also got, I just bought these today, about some the other day, little um, penguin stickers. And I got these. These are actually envelope seals. Um, but I think I've got a cute idea for these. I think a lot of fun. And there's a good amount of them in there, so that makes it nice. I have these uh, snowman stickers. And I also got these, um, these are kind of like envelope seals too, they're a little dimensional, but they say Happy Holidays and Season Greetings. And then I also got these rub-ons, and I know some of you had said um, you weren't crazy about rub-ons, but I thought maybe we'd add these to the class and see if I can't get you to start liking them. I love rub-ons, they're a lot of fun, but some of them can be a little peculiar to work with, so... Um, we'll be doing that, and then the last thing I got for our class, which I've been wanting for a while, I didn't really buy it just for the class, but we'll be using it, is this polka dot stamp. And I thought um, we could use it on one of our cards to make it look like snow, and we can add glitter and lots of fun stuff. So I look forward to seeing you guys again. I wanted to thank um, those of you who have um, left comments with the management at Hobby Lobby. I thank you so much for doing that. Um, I'm really glad that you enjoyed the class, and I hope that you'll all be able to make it to... Um, the Christmas class on the 4th. 
I hope you guys have a nice um, Thanksgiving, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.